Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today I have another what's sold on Poshmark and eBay video to share with you today. So if you want to check out all the items I sold during a two week period, definitely keep on watching. For those of you who might be new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I'm a full time working mom, but in my spare time I really love making these videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to my reselling journey as well. So that kind of thing sounds at all interesting. Definitely check out my other videos linked down below and please also consider subscribing. That'll really, really help me out too. So for today, I'm going to be covering my usual two weeks of sales on Poshmark and eBay. And I'm going to be covering the week of January 31st and the week of February 7th. So I'm going to take you through every single sale I made during this period. I will let you know my take home earnings from Poshmark and my sales prices on eBay. I do not include cost of goods in this particular kind of video, but I do include all that information in my haul videos. And I've linked some examples of those down below if you want to check those out too. For those of you who might be new here and new to Poshmark and decide to make your first purchase, definitely consider using my referral code. It's modmommd. That's M-O-D-M-O-M-M-D. So when you sign on to Poshmark and you put in this code and ultimately make your first purchase, either in my closet or anyone else's closet for that matter, you will save $10. So definitely consider using that referral code. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into my sales for these two weeks and I will say that it was a little bit of a slow two weeks for me and it's obvious why it's because I've been working more during a stretch I was on my hospital rotation so I just didn't have as much time to devote to reselling so that's really what happens every time that I go on my hospital rotations but I was so thankful for all of these sales during this stretch literally I did not list one single item on Poshmark I did cross list a few of my items on eBay but I did not list any items on Poshmark that were new so I think the fact that I did not list any single item on Poshmark during this two week period definitely affected sales some, but I was so thankful that I was able to sell through some items despite the fact that I really was not listing at all. So the first item was a super adorable top from Anthropology. It's little yellow button, Lila cell top. It was new with tags and a size extra small. So this was just a beautiful top as you can see here, perfect as we go into the warmer months. And it's from Anthropology, their brand little yellow button. So I still love to pick up Anthropology. I'm more selective with it. It has to be something unique. So I thought this blouse was definitely more unique. It's very colorful and fun. So that's why I decided to give it a try. The very basic tops from Anthropology I generally leave behind these days. But I still love the brand and I still sell a lot of Anthropology. So I'm happy to pick items like this up. And it was extra good that it was new at tags. So this particular blouse I sold for $31 and I gave a shipping discount of $2.12. So after fees, my net earnings were $22.68, which for me was pretty decent. So I was happy that this moved along and it was just a gorgeous little blouse. The next item was a beautiful sweater. It's from J. Crew. It's the Point Sur Merino Wool Mock Neck Sweater and it was in a size medium. So I was not honestly familiar with this Point Sur line. So when I found this beautiful sweater um, in merino wool, I had to look it up. And I realized that Point Sur is an offshoot of J. Crew. And I believe Point Sur has kind of these nice higher end type of knitwear and wool blend materials. So this line is definitely one that I would definitely pick up again uh, if I was outsourcing because I think it is better than just standard J. Crew. So this sweater was just perfect for cooler months, um, so I'm really happy that it sold now. And it ultimately had a decent amount of likes, both on Poshmark and eBay. But I ultimately sold it for a best offer of $35, and minus Poshmark fees, my net earnings are $28 on this sweater. So definitely something to look out for, this Point Sur line from J. Crew, I think does extra well. This next item was a really fun belt from Ed Hardy. It was the Born Free handmade leather belt. There was no particular size, but I gave very specific measurements. I kind of measure every aspect of the belts when I list them. And this one also got a lot of attention on both Poshmark and eBay. And I did sell a similar Ed Hardy belt that I found together with this one when I was outsourcing uh, earlier for a pretty decent price point as well. So these really unique belts definitely do very well. I love selling belts because they're super easy to store and super easy to ship. So I'm always on the lookout for really fun, unique belt styles. So this one sold for an Offers to Likers of $27. My shipping discount was $2.12. So minus the Poshmark fees, my net earnings were $19.48, which is pretty good for a quick flip and a belt because it's super easy to store and ship. The next item was this Paige Jimmy Jimmy Skinny uh, Distressed Jeans, and it was in a size 28. 
So this is just a very classic pair of jeans. I honestly picked this up a while ago when I first started reselling and I love Paige Denim. I've heard about the brand and I think I probably owned a pair before, uh, but I didn't realize it doesn't resell very well. So currently I do not pick up Paige really ever, I'll say, but this one I had from a while ago. So I was super happy um, that this ultimately sold for a best offer of $25 minus the Poshmark fees. I had a net earnings of $20. So again, I personally don't pick up page at all. Let me know down below if you still pick up page jeans and if so, what types of styles you like to look for. But in general, if I see page, if I'm sourcing, I just kind of pass it by. The next item was this pair of sandals from Blowfish. It was the Malibu Bungalow Gladiator. Uh, sandals in a size eight and a half and I just picked this up because I wanted to try out this brand so I'd heard about Blowfish it's definitely not one that retails for a lot and I didn't expect it to resell for a lot but I've heard from some people um, that this brand is a pretty popular one it can flip pretty quickly so I wanted to check this one out this was an excellent condition a super cute style I'll say as you can see here but it just sat a little too long for me and the prices that they sell for just aren't quite good enough, at least personally for me, to consider picking them up regularly in the future. I think if I find a great style um, in super good condition, I will definitely consider it. But routinely now, I don't really look for Blowfish anymore. But this particular sandal did sell for a decent price. It sold for $20 best offer. So minus the Poshmark fees, my net earnings were $16 on these beautiful pair of sandals. So the next item that sold was super disappointing for me because it sold, but then it got returned. So this is my very first return ever on Poshmark or eBay. So I was super bummed, but for the sake of full disclosure, I want to share this with you because I want to share with you every single sale and return I make because I think we all learn from these things. So this shoe um, was just really a very classic orthotic shoe. It's from the brand MBT, which I have sold before. Going forward, I'm not certain I will pick these up, but I found a couple of these when I was outsourcing one day, so I picked both of them up. The other one sold relatively quickly as well. And this is a line of orthotic physiologic footwear type of shoes. So this one um, was a really cute style, as you can see here overall, I thought, and it had kind of the rocker orthotic type of bottom. So this one did sell on Poshmark and it initially sold for $40 best offer and minus the fees, my earnings would have been $32. So I packed it up, shipped it out and I just love the shoe. There are no obvious flaws, um, you know, when I sold it, although it was not a new shoe. So what the buyer said is although she loved the look of the shoe, everything was in excellent condition. When she wore the shoes around her house for an hour or so, the outsoles started cracking a bit, um, kind of the rubber outsole or the toning part of the shoe started cracking a bit. So that's the issue I've had with some of these shoes before. And it's hard to really know if that's going to happen unless you wear them around. But personally, if you're reselling, I mean, I'm not going to wear these shoes around because I want to keep them in good condition. So when I packed them up, I definitely tried to test them as much as I could and they seemed okay. But ultimately, I think when there's um, true wear on the shoe, it probably will show more. So that's kind of what happened. I completely agreed with her. I don't think she should have kept these pair of shoes. Um, I was just super disappointed that um, she was disappointed and this happened. But that's just definitely something to be wary of. I think these outsoles that are very thick rubber type of outsoles, especially things like dance goals, I know this can happen to, or these other orthotic shoes like MBT, just as much as possible, at least I think just be wary of the fact this can cause, I guess maybe even dry rot or just wear on the rubber that you really can't tell unless you wear them so just be careful about that again for me I think it's really hard to tell if this is going to happen unless you wear the shoe yourself which I didn't do so this got returned I was happy to accept the return because I felt really bad this happened to her um, but just something to kind of learn from so this was a total fail but definitely a learning experience I would say all right, moving on to my next sale on Poshmark, and this was from Sundance. It was a merino wool open front duster cardigan in a size medium. And I've talked about Sundance before. I really love this brand. Um, they, I believe, were a catalog brand, but they also have some retail stores I know I've seen. And there definitely is a falling for Sundance. The problem with Sundance I'm coming into now is that really the unique styles are the ones that do well. The more basic styles just really don't do that well. And I think this cardigan kind of fell into maybe the more basic style but I sat on this a lot longer than I thought I would. I sold some other Sundance cardigans really quickly but there are some really beautiful type of Nordic style print sweaters 
This one I think was more plain. Maybe the colorway was a little too bright for some people, possibly. So this sweater ultimately sold for an offers to likers of $45. My shipping discount was $2.46 now because during this time period, the shipping costs had increased on Poshmark. And minus my Poshmark fees, my net earnings were $33.54. So I was happy with the sale. I definitely will consider Sundance going forward, but definitely the more unique kind of fun styles I think are the ones I'm going to try to focus on. Now that I mentioned the shipping uh, upcharge, what do you guys think about that? Do you think the changes in shipping affect your sales? Um, for me, it's just hard to tell. I mean, I'm not a huge reseller, so I probably don't see any major fluctuations, to be quite honest. But it's always a bummer to get that notice that shipping's going to be increased, of course. I totally understand why it's being increased, but of course it's a little bit of a bummer. I honestly don't think it affects sales probably all that much, but curious to hear what you all think as well. All right, I have one final sale on Poshmark during this period. It's a brand called Bruno Magli. It was the Novati Black Peep Toe Pumps in a size nine. So I did haul these beautiful pumps in one of my Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box hauls, and I will link some of those down below if you wanna check them out. But I just love those rescue boxes. As I've talked about before, I've been selling through a lot of them. I haven't picked any up recently because they're just not available anymore. So I need to start looking on the website uh, more frequently to see if they come back in stock. But I just love these types of boxes and I find some really cool finds. So this is one of the shoes that I had in there. It was in a size nine. The buyer left me a beautiful love note. Just loved the item, which I was so happy about. And it was just a really gorgeous shoe, which retails for quite a bit and very classic, perfect for the workplace. I would say if you can wear peep toe pumps. So this item sold for a best offer of $30 minus the Postmark fees. My net earnings were $24 on these pair of shoes. So super happy about this particular sale. And that does it for all my sales during this period on Poshmark. And I did have one lonely eBay sale, but it was an amazing one, so I'm happy about that. So my one eBay sale was from Eileen Fisher. And I know Eileen Fisher for a lot of people is hit or miss these days, but I still love it. I don't pick up every single Eileen Fisher piece, that's for sure, but a little bit more of a unique style, um, really nice materials like silk or linen are the ones that I try to focus on. And Eileen Fisher does great for me, especially on eBay, I'll say, even better than Poshmark. So this item sold on eBay. It was this beautiful Eileen Fisher. It was called the uh, Petite Silk Blend Velvet Tunic Shirt Dress. And it was in a size small petite. And this sold for my full asking price really quickly, I'd say within a week or so on eBay. And I sold it for $90 plus shipping. So that was pretty good for me. Um, I didn't expect to get a full price sale on this item, but when I saw it, it was just gorgeous. A beautiful, gorgeous silk blend um, shirt dress, really. You could also wear it as a tunic if you didn't want it to be too short, but it was definitely meant to be a dress. And this beautiful kind of burgundy type of color, um, I thought was just gorgeous. So I was so happy this moved along quickly. I wasn't sure how petites would do, but again, that didn't seem to affect it at all. So. Really happy about the sale. Going forward, I definitely want to focus on Eileen Fisher again if I see it out there. And in particular on eBay, I think it does extra well. Okay, so that does it for all of my sales on Poshmark and eBay during this two-week stretch. So for me, at least, not bad given I didn't list a single item and I was working pretty long hours during this stretch. So overall, I'm happy with every single sale. I hope you've had great sales as well. And if you have any particular sales that are standouts for you, definitely, as usual, please comment down below. I'm always interested in hearing about fun finds and great sellers. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching another video. I hope you're staying safe and healthy, and I'll plan to see you again in my next video. Take care. Bye.